If they make the second, we'll take it. <laughs>
championship game of the Father Henry Carr Early Bird. And Elias, it's been a great weekend of basketball. Culminating in this matchup here, the rest of the to a tough game against Bill Brothers. And Father Henry Carr beat South uh, What are your keys and what have you seen earlier and what are your keys going for this game? How do you see this ball in the ball game? You know, you got the original game, you got the original game. Welcome back to the 17th annual Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Our game preview, the championship game is here. Henry Carr, the host, taking on Crestwood Prep. E, what have you seen so far, and what are the, your predictions for this game? I mean, this is going to be a very guard-oriented game. We're going to see a lot of up-and-down basketball, especially playing in front of a home crowd for Father Henry Carr. Guys like Joshua Morgan have been breakout players last year in this tournament when you and I actually were here. Um, but then Crestwood comes in hard as well with guys like Keyshawn Laddie and Kobe Antwi who are stepping up in the absence of other guards who are injured. So <laughs> there's going to be, I mean, it's going to be a back and forth battle the whole way through. We saw two teams battling, of course. Uh, 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 Crestwood Prep took out Bill Crothers and Father Henry Carr took out Southwest. Do you see a big time battle in this one and who do you have coming out on top? For sure, I mean it's going to be a fight to the to the end, but I think that the team that comes out uh, metaphorically speaking taking the first punch is the one that is the one that wins it because this is a game of momentum and if you can come out and grasp a you know a 10 point lead in the beginning, it holds you down throughout the game. I, I see FHC taking this. All right, there you have it, the prediction from Elias Biet. Uh, right here, letting everybody know what time it is. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. The championship game of the 17th annual Father Henry Carr Early Bird Classic. Father Henry Carr host. They take on Crestwood Prep. Stay tuned for the live stream.
Welcome back to the 17th annual Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Here we go, championship game. Crestwood Prep in the blue jerseys taking on Father Henry Carr, the host in the white jerseys with blue trim. Here's Elijah Fisher right off the bat. Snakes through the defense, so tough. He's setting the tone right away, isn't he, Elias? He's playing through a little bit of sickness. You know, his stomach's not feeling too well. Um, he's been battling through it all tournament. Man, this kid's going to be a special one. Keep it, keep your eyes on him. This is a very guard-oriented matchup right here. Not a lot of bigs in the game. It's going to be a very fast up-and-down style. There's a foul on the play. Morgan at the line. It's good. It's a 2-2 game. The foul was on number 33, Steven Lazar. His first foul, team's first. Look at that, Henry Carr's defense stepping up already. Johnson blocked by Fisher. 2-2 game early on. Intensity right off the bat. And if, if you're, you know, if you're a guard who's attacking on Fisher, you gotta come in a lot stronger than that. You can't afford to, you know, up fake you got to come at him hard. He's looking to block your shot. And also set the tone against this younger opponent. Number 20 foul for Raheem Wilson, his first. Crestwood, sorry, make that Father Henry Carr's first. It's 2-2 early on. Turnover right there, overthrew him. And right now the defense is setting the tone for both teams. We have a full gymnasium as usual in the final, especially when Father Henry Carr is in the championship game. They always get a turnout regardless. Shots up, no good there. That was Shirley. Shirley's coming off a pretty good game in the semifinals for Henry Carr. I didn't get to watch that one, the early one in this morning. It looks like a quick turnover here. Travel, it's gonna go back the other way. Yeah, Shirley's a guy who kinda did his thing, hit some shots. Played well and was aggressive going to the hoop. We'll see if he can do the same thing in this championship final. Nice matchup here, too. Elijah Fisher taking on the young PG. They move it around the horn. Oh, big shot. And look at Morgan getting into the player. Josh Morgan, we spoke about him as being one of the keys. He's one of those guys. Another elite. There you go. Offensive. Again, this is going in the, this is exactly what Father Henry Carr wants. They want this type of environment. They like the rah-rah. And now Josh Morgan's been issued a warning as well, just as Elijah Fisher. I really appreciate, I really appreciate what the refs are doing in terms of ensuring and holding the kids accountable in terms of their body language on the floor. Some people are against it, I'm all for it. 5-2 ball game, Henry Carr with the lead. They have the ball. Here's Johnson coming off a great semifinal. Out of bounds though, looking to do a little too much right there. You gotta keep it simple. 6.09 left, first quarter. Father Henry Carr led by Coach Paul Melnick. Crestwood Prep led by Roe Russell. Both used to be teammates on the Runnymede Redmond squad back in the day. Here they go, the steal, stolen back by Laddie. Referee says play on. Here's Fisher, Fisher wants the three, short. Big rebound, Gamba. Up ahead, Johnson. Oh, gets by Fisher for the layup. 7-2, just like that, E, all Henry Carr early. You see the energy in this gym right now. All, oh, another costly turnover. If they keep turning it over this way, this game's gonna get messy quick. Look at that, here comes Lazar with it. Foul on the play. That foul is on number 12, Noah Gamba. That's his first, team second. Both teams have two team fouls. Just like that, a timeout on the floor called by Crestwood Prep. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with more first quarter action.
Welcome back to the 17th annual Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic Drewy Banks On Point Basketball alongside Ellie Spiet of NorthPoleHoops.com. Look at Fisher right to the hole, recovers and gets the roll. What a soft touch he has, even with contact. Yeah, those shoulders are getting a lot stronger. The protection on the way to the rim, you saw, you saw him make a lot of contact there, but still able to adjust. That's impressive. It's incredible how you see the growth of these young players and how they adapt to defenses and they adapt to the way they're being played but guys like Elijah like you can't teach what he just did that's just something that the great players have the ability to put the ball in the bucket without being taught that you can't teach that play no you're right and that's what that's what you get with generational level talent right we're not going to see someone like Elijah Fisher I don't think for for another couple of years but there are guys also that are catching up to him pretty quickly you got a kid like AJ Osman out of Ottawa you know Drew you've been in the game long enough Ottawa's a powerhouse at the club level at the university level no matter how you slice it this kid AJ Osman not quite as built as as Elijah is but he's coming right at him in terms of skill set so with these generational level talents they got to be careful that they don't settle, that they continue to develop. 7-4 is your score. Henry Carr leading. Big matchup here. Everybody from the area is in the gym, it seems. Standing room only. We're used to this. The Father Ted McLean Gymnasium. Turnover there. Back to Crestwood. They trail by three. 420 left. First quarter. Want to thank Ilmines Media. Zane and Chris for putting together all the technical specs for this stream. Crestwood can't score. There it is. Gamba right to the hole. And talk about shoulders. Noah Gamba has a lot of them. And we've been knowing Noah for a long time, been tracking his progress since he was in grade eight. He's always had a physical advantage over everybody. Last year at Bond was much of the same. This year actually is the most trim that he's looked. He looks fantastic right now. Yeah, it looks like they have some kind of, you know, I know Travis over here uh, is the guy that deals with their strength and conditioning. He's got his body looking chiseled right now. Yeah, and a lot of the kids that Travis Noel actually works with throughout, like from March onwards, he has a group that he has in the weight room and on the track, and they do a phenomenal job in terms of bidding, building their athleticism and getting them ready for the, for the next season. Stolen away. Here's Fisher. Fisher taking on... Caleb, oh, big defense by Johnson. Great play. Crestwood, they keep moving it around the horn. Eman short on that. Triple, 9-4, Carr with the lead. 321 left, first quarter. The FHC Early Bird Prep Classic. Down low, big man gets it to go. Raheem Wilson, 6'7", 290, 2021 player. Getting it done. Oh, it's almost stolen. There it is, Morgan. A lot of energy in the building. Morgan to the hole. Finishes through the contact. Foul is going to be on Dean. Third team foul. And it's all car right now. 13 4. That prediction's looking pretty accurate right now. I don't know if it'll pan out all the way through. But that's, I could barely hear you while you're talking, man. The energy in this place is getting pretty lit up. And you're right beside me, too. <laughs> Great finish by Morgan with the Euro step. Took the contact. And, I mean, look at the body on him. You know, his dad's right there in the corner. Big Mike. And you can see where the jeans, he got the jeans from. Big Mike passes on to son Josh. Look at the defense. Look at the crowd out of here. One thing about it, Father Henry Carr always has a crowd behind him. One of the best crowds in all of Canadian basketball right here. And the thing that makes it great is there's not a lot of seats, so you got to get in here early if you want to get a seat. But they're always, always vocal. 14-4, all Carr early. Johnson throws it up. Almost a foul there on Fisher. Got lucky, the refs didn't call it. Nice spin by Desane. Out of bounds, still Crestwood Prep basketball. 
Mingo almost lost it. He had a great semifinal. Out of bounds still. Crestwood Prep basketball, no foul on that play. A very aggressive style here for both sides. You know, both teams are playing each other fairly close. This is going to, the intensity here, the, ref, the way that the refs are going to call it, it seems like they're going to let a little more physicality. Shot clock violation. This gym is loud, folks. If you can hear it through the screen, stream, it's incredibly loud. And more people are coming in the gym right now. Henry Carr, fans, energy, extreme. They want this championship. Look at that, Johnson, wow. What a runner for him, 16-4. Two minutes to steal. Look at this, Johnson inside, another basket. I don't think I've seen this against Crestwood before. 18-4 is your score, look at the energy in the building. Stick around, folks. We don't want to leave, but we'll be right back with more first quarter action. Welcome back to the action, the championship game of the FHC Early Bird Prep Classic. And it's all home squad right now. Henry Carr swarming. And they have an 18-4 lead right to the hole. Foul call on the play. That's on number 20, Wilson. I believe that's his second. Team's third. Mingo at the line, shooting two right now. Uh, seemed like they disputed that one there. What, do you, what did you see on that play? I mean, I, I thought that he got there a little bit late, but it, it's still in time to get the call the other way, or no call. I like the no call on that play. Ref thought otherwise. No, we, we won't debate the ref's angle. He saw what he saw. That's right, exactly. I mean, that could have went either way. I think the fact that he went aggressively, that's a good thing. At least you give the referees, you, you force them to make a choice. 18-4 is your score. 18-5 now. After that free throw by Mingo. Look at Carr back with it. Look at that Morgan. He's not going to miss that layup. They smell blood right now. They're trying to put this game away in the first quarter. Here comes Crestwood. Can't finish. Big rebound inside. They're playing tough on the glass. Johnson, I like the jab step used there even though he didn't do the move on the wing. Shirley, this gym is live, folks. It's live in here. I told you, Shirley had a great semifinal. He's picked up right there. What do you see happening right here? I mean, if they're not going to be able to break this press, that's the biggest thing. FHC is really slowing down Crestwood on the press. And then on the other side, they're not allowing the defense to set up. They have really pushed the tempo here. Look at this. They're holding Crestwood to five points in a quarter. That's unbelievable. That foul was on number 12, Gamba. For Carr. Fisher gets his own rebound, can't finish. 
Out of bounds call right there. It's still Crestwood Prep basketball. You see Elijah Fisher, he's on the ground. He's trying to scrap and claw for anything right now to get them back in the game. I love that and I appreciate that about his game. It, it, there's not a lot of superstars that sacrifice their body. He, he gets down there for 50-50 balls. I can appreciate that. I think now Crestwood needs others to step up, like that guy right there, Kobe Antwi. No good. Rebound, Morgan. Morgan, I love his game, man. He's got handles. He's got size. He's got tough. Look at that. And looks like maybe offensive. Offensive foul called on Morgan. What do you think about that one? I mean, again, we're not questioning the calls, but looked like he went up strong. I, I totally disagree with that call. I mean, you got to protect the offensive men in that situation. I totally disagree with it. But I, look, one thing I learned about refereeing, and I, I did referee for, for 10 years, you'll never have as good as a look at it as the angle of the referee, especially in the three-man rotation. He's responsible for that area. So what he saw is what he saw. Big three right there by Kobe Antwi. They needed that. 23-8 is your score. Foul. And it counts. Johnson and a reach-in foul. The foul is on Fisher. Number 22. His first foul. Team's fourth. And there's no sense arguing. The play's gone already. You got to move on. I think he's at the line right now because it's an and one as far as I know. The referee is saying no basket there. It's going to be bonus, so the basket won't count. They took the two points off the board. No, it's not bonus. They only have four fouls. I'm confused right now. Johnson to the hole. No good. Tip in. Who was that? That was Johnson tried to tip it back in. No good. 23-8 is your score. We'll be right back with Elias Biet's breakdown after the first quarter. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the action. Second quarter, we begin. Nice play, Mingo, getting it back. 23-10 is your score. Elias, first quarter, all Henry Carr. The crowd got into it as well. I mentioned it to it in the pregame as well. 
The team that takes the first punch, they're going to be the one that comes out on top. In this case, it was Father Henry Carr. I see it being too far of a disparity in score and too far of a momentum swing for Crestwood to come back, but anything can happen. Elijah Fisher could get hot, Kobe Antry could get hot, so let's not count them out yet. Here comes Carr right to the hole, and the finish is good. Howard, number 22, six foot five, 21, 2021 player. Offensive foul called on Antwi. That could be a question of Antwi trying to pick things up a little bit too soon. Yeah, I mean, you, you gotta pick and choose for sure. This is a, a really good defensive team that's gonna collapse in the paint. And once they do, those gaps that you think you see when you're on the perimeter, close out after your first dribble. So peripherals gotta stay open. You gotta be able to see your man. Tough, tough shot there for Kobe. FHC prep, they lead 25-10 and wanna take this championship. There's Morgan, tough shot. Fisher. Fisher to the hole. No good, but there's Laddie with the follow. 25-12, it's now a 13-point game. There's a shot there, runner, not a good one. Oh, tipped in, almost, oh, there he is. Johnson picking up where he left off. Great start for him with the tip in, 27-12. Mingo to the hole, no good. There's Lazar, puts it up, foul on the play. That's unfortunate, it looks like Morgan got caught there. That call is on 23, Morgan. His second foul already, that's important if you're a Father Henry Carr fan. Second foul on Morgan. I think they'll keep him in the game for a little bit longer just because he's, he's a smart enough guy to know how to deal with it. Smart enough to know how to play with two fouls in the first half. I don't, I don't see him pulling him out, not quite yet. 6.20 line left, second quarter. Drew Banks alongside Elias Biet. On point basketball and North Pole hoops as well as Ill Minds Media. There's a foul on the play. Foul is on Johnson, number one. That's his first. Team second. As we pick up the action, here's Mingo on the outside. No good on the three, falls down. Out of bounds, back to Henry Carr. 27-12 with 6.14 left, second quarter. The energy in the building, you could feel it. Father Henry Carr looking to hoist the championship trophy and take this title, but it's early, 6.10 left. First half, Johnson, he's got that. That's a beautiful shot there, so smooth. He's gonna make a coach very happy at the next level. Right to the hole, can't get it to go. That's a shot you gotta make. Jousa, six foot eight, you gotta bang that, never mind. Keyshawn Laddie with the foul, number two. That's his first. Team second, it's 29-12, all Father Henry Carr. Morgan with the inbounds. Carr gonna slow it down a bit. They have a nice lead. They can take their time. Johnson on the wing, no good. Gang rebound there, Crestwood. Here's Kobe, Antwi. Oh, got stopped and recovers on that play. Maybe he'll pick it up. They need somebody to pick it up, man. Crestwood needs a lot of help right now on the offensive end. It's been a pretty much a 15 point lead game throughout so far. Double team on Morgan, he spins out of it, nice play. Taps it off of Fisher's knee, out of bounds still. Father Henry Carr basketball, they lead. 29-14, 5-11 left. First half action, second quarter. Traveling on the play, turnover as Howard takes steps without putting the ball down. Subs coming in. 29-14, 5.07 left, second quarter. Both teams with two team fouls. Red, red, red. 
Carr with some full court pressure. Here's Fisher. Fisher goes reverse. What a play. Looked like it slipped out. He's getting stronger by the day, by the minute, by the hour, actually. You can see the aggression that he just comes in with. It's, it's really tough to stop a train when that train is going full speed. I'm, I, you know what's scarier, Drew, is what is he going to look like when he's a senior? 17 years old. He's 14 right now, 14, 15. Just turned 15. Two more years. It's going to be a scary, scary thing. Here comes Carr. Morgan going strong. Oh! Morgan going for the gusto. I like that. Even though he got tipped, I like the fact that Morgan went. His dad's in the corner checking him out and cheered him on right there. What a take. And Mike says cool, very cool throughout the games, but deep down inside, you know how he's going nuts for Josh. Fisher, the two-hand crush again. He's starting to take over. 29, 18, the lead cut to 11. Fully capable, right? We talked about this. Fully capable, either him, Kobe, or a combination of the two really getting it going. And there's Caleb Johnson. Puts up the floater, misses, gets his own rebound. His activity in second jump is unreal out there for Father Henry Carr. Here's Antwi to the hole. And they're starting to pick up both teams, finding their groove offensively. 31-20. Carr with the lead. They have the great fan support here. And they lead the game and are in control. Carr moving it around. Nice pass. And there's Johnson. How does a guy like Johnson get that open on the inside? You can't let a player of that caliber have that much room. That foul is on number 14, Mark Henriquez. Sorry, no, my bad. That's on Jousa, his first for Crestwood Prep. And we have Johnson at the line shooting a free throw. You mentioned Johnson's game, some, some teams are looking at him. What is it about him that always seems to have a great knack for the ball? He always seems to be around it. Yeah, I mean, out of necessity, I think for, for Father Henry Carr, we've seen him play mainly a 3-4. I think his natural position is honestly a 2-3 a on the wing as a swing man, just like his brother. His brother, Chris Johnson, he's, he's here in the corner watching as well. Played at St. Bonaventure uh, and then played professionally as well in the NBL. You know, he, Johnson is that type of player. He's a swing man that can get it done from the perimeter. He can create for teammates. So I think it's his versatility. That's what coaches love about him. 32-20 is your score. 340 left. First half. Championship final. Crestwood taking on Father Henry Carr. Look at that. No defense whatsoever. You might as well put a, you know, just be a matador there, letting that player right to the hole. Crestwood's got to play better defense than that. Stolen. Pushing ahead to Johnson. Right to the hole. Johnson, another bucket. And they've opened up a 16-point lead here. And the sixth man, the crowd, completely in it. They've been in it the whole way. These traps are coming at them really strong and really fast. And so far, Crestwood hasn't known how to handle the pressure. Mingo gets it stolen. Oh, there, Fisher steals it back. Foul on the play. Foul's going to be on Brendan Ocampo. His first foul. Team's third. Crestwood will inbounds it. Man, the crowd is into it right now, and it has Crestwood shook a bit. And, and they got another guard in the game here for Father Henry Carr. Coach has plugged in Brandon Acampo, who's another ball handler, and he turned it over that time. Coach Melnick gave him an earful. He needs him to be the aggressor. He needs him to push the ball up the floor. We got a tie up here. Tie up here, and neither player letting it go. And number two, Jamia Brown Jeffers. He's protecting his player, Morgan. I love to see that. He's got Morgan's back out there. And this Henry Carr crowd, if you're not used to it and don't understand the energy they bring, it could really shook, shake you if you're an opposing team. Over, overrated is what they're yelling right now. And I, I'm curious to see how Elijah deals with this. 
I don't know if you want to awake a sleeping lion. You don't want to do that. You just let him play. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see this guy go on blast. See what happens here with this crowd in his ear. You know, it's kind of like when you're playing LeBron James. I think, you know, he might be having a rough game, maybe scoring or whatever, but you don't incite him. You just kind of play the game and hope he never wakes up. Let's see what happens in this one. It's all FHC at this time. They've been playing a great game. Nice basket right there. That's number 25, Oladele Iman. Iman, 2021 player, six foot six inches. Johnson up top. Wow. He's got it all going today. 39 22. Johnson showing his full repertoire. What, what do you say at this point at halftime to your team? Like, they're getting beat. They're getting beat in the traps in the corners, and they're not even really able to get a clean shot other than the one they just took there. This is going to be a tough match the whole way through for Crestwood. And Crestwood's beat some teams pretty badly, but right now they're getting, they're getting a whooping. It's 17 points. It's a big, big deficit to overcome for any team. 39-22. Look at Johnson. He's feeling it. Shots up, no good there. I'd like to see Morgan try to put it on the floor there and get to the 10 instead of settling for the James Harden-esque step back. Get to the basket, maybe a floater, move the ball. 39-22, 1.14 left, first half action. Second quarter, 1.11 left. Look at that, three-quarter court trap. Fouls on number zero, his second foul. That's a campo for Carr. It's four team fouls for Father Henry Carr. 101 left, second quarter. Inbounds for Crestwood. Look at a defense by Morgan. Foul called on a play. Number 12. Three. As Gambus. That's third, his third foul on a Gamba. And he takes a seat. At the line is Latti shooting the free throws. First one's good. <laughs> Misses the second, gets it back. Shots up, Latti, no good. Fisher gets it and puts it back in. 39-25, it's a 14 point lead. 36 seconds left. Things are getting heated here, it's a battle. Both teams want this chip. Floater Morgan, oh, what soft touch. Morgan getting the job done. And the rims are friendly to Morgan in this gym. He's familiar with them, they're familiar with him. 41, traveling, 41-25. 15 seconds left, Carr. Inbounds, Carr. Shots running down, you can hear the crowd and the team counting down. Here's Morgan, step back, throws it up. No good, and that's gonna be it for the first half. Henry Carr, 41, Crestwood, 25. The FHC Early Bird Prep Classic Championship Game. Stay tuned for the second half. And before it starts, we'll break it down with Elias Biet. Drewy Banks here, Ill Minds Media On Point Basketball, North Pole Hoops. Stay tuned for the second half.
<laughs> you might, you might go along with it. <laughs> Good. What a first half man.
Welcome back to the 17th annual Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. The first half of the championship game is in the books. Father Henry Carr in control, up 41-25. Drew Banks alongside Elias Biet of NorthBowlHoops.com. Elias, give us your breakdown of the first half in which the crowd was fully into it for the home team, Father Henry Carr. The crowd had a lot to do with the energy that Caleb Johnson was giving. The guy's got 20 points in this game so far, and he's just... You know, rebounding like a madman, cleaning up, making shots from distance. He's the one who kind of got things going for Father Henry Carr, but then you saw bursts of explosiveness from Josh as well, right here with the ball. And the, I think the defensive prowess that they applied on Crestwood in the corners, into traps, that's what's really been the, you know, the, the thing that has taken them over to the top, the thing that has built this 16-point this lead for them. Foul there is on number 25 for Emmanuel Odeladele. His first foul, first team's first. Who else uh, did anything in the first half? I mean, Elijah Fisher for Crestwood also had 12. Um, he's finding a way. He's finding a way to get a bucket every time. and we, He needs help, though. That's the biggest thing right now. He needs help. In previous games, you saw Keyshawn, La Keyshawn uh, Laddie. Uh, you had Romad Dean. You had Kobe Antry, he's been quiet. And I think that the defense has done a good job in terms of isolating and keeping the ball out of Kobe's hands. Not a good pass there. Elijah gets it back, but look at the strength there. Gamba battling, jump ball, and it goes to Henry Carr. You gotta love to see that effort. Gamba is a, is a man-child, man. His physical strength is, is out of this world. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be in a dark alley uh, with him because he might come out on top there. Gamba's a great kid though. He's just a baller. He doesn't use that to anything except playing basketball the right way and you love to see that. Little battle inside. Both teams jump ball and it goes back. Big and, play. And both times it's been Gamba on the wrap up to get that jump ball. Now the next one, it'll be back to Father Henry Carr possession. 41-25. It's a 16 point lead. Antwi, nice play. That's a tough play not to get the charge because you have a tendency to want to go right to the hoop. Yeah, and in that time, he, he was smart enough to decide to, okay, I'm going to absorb this contact a little bit and find a way to finish. Good, good quality finish there. As they move the ball around the horn, Crestwood pressing a bit. They're down 14 right now. Nice pull up. Doesn't get it to go this time. Here's Fisher, a lot of pressure on Elijah. And as you said, he needs the rest of the guys to step up like they did in the semis. And there's a play right there. Oludele gets it to go and one. That foul is on number 20, Wilson for FHC Prep. That's his third foul. Team's first, big play right there by Oludele. Shots up Shirley, no good. That's two poor shots by Shirley there. He can't do that if you want to keep the lead. Here's Fisher on a turn. No good on the first time. 41-29, it's down to 12. 
538 left. Let's see if Carr can get a bucket and stem this momentum. Nice pass. Look at Shirley. Oh, you gotta shoot that, Shirley. Too unselfish. And that's, you know, he's making, he's, he's selfish when he shouldn't be, and it's, then it's opposite, the vice versa the other way. In those situations, he had an opening. You want him to take those. And there's E-Man getting it done. That's huge, nine point lead from 16. They cut it by seven. 5.14 left third quarter. Just like that. that that's, a, that's a huge cut for them. A lot of one-on-one -on -one play right now by FHC. A lot of one. Before they were moving the ball in the first half, getting mismatches. Now they want to go one-on-one. -on -one. Brown Jeffers on that play. And Jeffers, and, and Jeffers as well as uh, Shirley, both guys that came off the bench, you know, coach hoping to give some guys a break, but it looks like they shouldn't be playing without him, man, because these turnovers are going to be costly, especially with a, with a shorter lead now. That foul is on Jeffers. Number two, his first right there, team second. Crestwood has a chance right now to continue to, you know, break into this lead. Laddie, not a good shot. One-on-one -on -one basketball on both sides right now. Both teams really have to get back to the team game. Here's Morgan. Gamba. Good defense here by Crestwood. Johnson, he's going to have to take a bailout. Pull up, Jay. Gets the roll. Such a smooth jump shot. The lost art, the mid-range game. And that makes it 22 for Johnson in this one. Turnover right there. Antwi. And then a foul. Oludele, number 25. That's his second foul. Team second. It's an 11 point game. Henry Carr with the lead. 4.08 left. Third quarter. A runner. Morgan! What a play! Follows on Latte, number two. That's his second foul, team's third. And at the line will be Josh Morgan. What a play, that didn't even look like he was going in. Physical strength to get by him on the first step. I thought he had a three-point shot that was very well available for him, but he, he took the higher percentage one. Misses the free throw, so Crestwood got lucky. They only gave up two points. Look at that. Shirley running him down. And there's a foul on Fisher. That foul is on Elijah Fisher, number 22. That's his second foul, team's fourth. Twenty-three seconds on the shot clock. Johnson on the inbounds for Henry Carr. They lead 45-32. Lost it going to the hoop. That was Johnson trying to get the basket. Good pass. Latte inside. Mingo. Nice pass for him. 45-34. FHC. And this matchup. Coaching matchup. As I mentioned, teammates back in the high school days. Wow. Great play, Johnson. Caleb Johnson going to work today. 24 points, taking contact, taking names. He's got a chance to be MVP right now, the way he's playing. Easily, easily. I, I mean, he's be the top runner up. I don't see anybody else. Here's Johnson again, going to the hoop, stopped. Oh my goodness! And Oludele is looking like, what? How did that go in? <laughs> hey, Elias can't even speak right now. He just can't even believe that went in. No good on that shot. Here they come, right down. What a play. Oh, good try. He's got to make that. Jeffers. And Johnson's just been involved in every single play, whether he's scoring it himself or creating a possession for somebody else. I mean, dude's just all over the floor. Definitely MVP. Mingo with the basket. It's down to 13 again, 49-36. Carr. There he is. Gamba. Strong take and one. 
the physicality of Father Henry Carr is just too much right now. The foul is on Oladele, number 25 for Crestwood. That's his third foul, team's fifth. They're in the penalty now. And Gamba to the line, so strong on that play. We talked about his physicality. We talked about those broad shoulders. As he further starts to build his guard skill set and be more perimeter oriented, he's still got another year to do that. The kid's gonna, I mean, at the U sports level at minimum, I think he's, he's highly effective. Yeah, with a body like that, he's got a pro build already. But you know, more than anything, he stays even keel. You love to see that about him. You know, he, was, he showed his excitement there. Very coachable young man as well. Uh, plays within the system. And you can see Coach Melnick trusts him. I mean, I don't even know if he subs out of the game. Yeah, I mean, he, well, coach, coach got to see him a lot with Vaughn as well, right? He's got to play against him. He knows how effective the dude could be. Class, another one from the class of 2022. Someone that young, you keep him for another couple, couple more years, you bring in a couple of the bigs, now you got... You know, now you got options. Now you can throw him on the perimeter a little more. Gamba at the line trying to complete the three-point play after an incredible basket where he ended up on his back. He does. Makes the free throws. Solid player, Noah Gamba. Crestwood on the break. Out of bounds. Antwi just got to grab the ball there, not trying to be too pretty with it. Turnover for Crestwood. They trail by 16 again. Block on the play, but the referee calls a foul. On the body, Elijah Fisher. That's his third foul. And Morgan is at the line shooting two, trying to put them up 18. In and out on that free throw. He's rocking those Kyrie SpongeBob yellows. Short on the second as well. And a foul on the play. Follows on Gamba, number 12. His fourth foul. Four fouls on Gamma, we gotta watch out. That could be a key factor, 52-36. On the wing, Antwi, short, big rebound inside. And the putback off the glass is D number 11 for Crestwood. 52-38, 140 left, third quarter, right to the hole, can't finish. Jeffers, oh wow, bad pass there by Antwi. 52-38 after that turnover. Do uh, a buck 33 left on the clock. FHC in control. 52-38. Drew Ebanks, onpointbasketball.com alongside Elias Piet, NorthPoleHoops.com. The stream brought to you by Ill Minds Media. I want to thank our sponsors, Aaron Wood Ford. If you need anything car-wise, head out to Mississauga and Aaronwood for Skindall. Nice basket right there. They get another one. 54-38. Jordan Brand. Trying to throw to Alley-Oop. I'm not sure about that play. Turnover. Antwi throws it up. No good on the dunk. And that sums up the day for Crestwood Prep right now. Things are just not going their way here, both on the defensive end, offensively. They're, I mean, 38 points in three quarters, that's very unlike Crestwood. Here's Father Henry Carr. They're pushing it. Morgan to the hole. Fouls on 25, Oludele, that's his fourth foul. They are in the bonus. Again, we want to thank our sponsors. Jordan Brand, Mayo Detox Performance, Pace Your Air Freight, The Trophy Shop, 
Das. Blend fusion of culinary experiences. They're providing the food. First free throw is good by Morgan. Second one's good by Morgan. Also thank Power Bar, Sports Smarts, the Health Institute, and of course the parents, family, and friends, FHC student and staff, volunteers, FHC custodial staff, and community use of schools, department of the TCDSB. Stolen, Johnson trying to go in, tipped away. 56-38 is your score, Carr with the lead, 24.8 seconds left. Can they get back into this? What do they have to do if they're going to get, try to get back into this? Do you think Chris has got a chance to get back into this? Not. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Almost a miracle. It, it, it's going it's to need a full team effort, everybody on the same page here defensively, because what do you do against that? There's nothing you can... He's had those kind of tough finishes all game long. It's over. It's over. Two quick buckets right there, Johnson and Morgan. And the crowd is into it, folks. The crowd is into it. FHC is all over Crestwood. 60 to 38. And there you have the crowd chanting MVP. MVP, Caleb Johnson. They told you. <laughs> And Josh Morgan playing Robin to, to Johnson's Batman right now. It's great to see. Hey, this game is a tough game. What I see, my analysis is the physical play and the physicality and the ability to take punches and punch harder. Father Henry Carr showing that they're a, a tough, tough, tough team right now. What they've been able to do in terms of setting up traps both on both ends here in, in key areas, you know, you're forcing... Crestwood to pick up their dribble on multiple occasions. You're you're drawing double teams in certain situations, and you're you're getting them out of their game, right? You've taken them out of their comfort zone, and this crowd has not been a friendly one to Crestwood. Um, you've heard all sorts of different chants thrown at like guys like Elijah Fisher, like overrated, and talking to the team. He's definitely not overrated. No, de not definitely not. No, he's he's what he is. What he is. But, I mean, the story of the game here is definitely the MVP, Caleb Johnson. Yeah, he's been doing phenomenal. Now, you mentioned the, the traps, obviously, without Trayvon Thomas with the point guard, the speedy, lightning-quick point guard. That's a great play to do because they don't have their natural floor leader, so they're having to pick it up there, and they're taking advantage. Yep, no, huge, huge difference maker in the game, right? You can easily make that argument that if Trey's in this game, totally different. In my opinion, as good as Elijah is, I believe that game in, game out, Trey's, Trey's the guy that you can rely on. So, I mean, I'm excited to see the kid back. I really want him to do well, and I think he's a phenomenal talent. And, of course, not to take anything away from Carr, unbelievable performance going to the hoop. Look at that, another foul on the play. They have played fantastic. Follows on Dean, number 11, his third. And Coach Melnick, he says, he's Scotian, he's good, he's going to get back up. We know our Scotian players are very tough. Shout out Linda Wigginton, amongst all the others that are out there. The grit of the East Coast is something, it, it's, it doesn't exist anywhere else in Canada. I, I can you speak can vouch for it. I've been across Canada 12 times back and forth, and the East Coast grit, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, the whole, the whole East Coast. There's something about them. They, they're, you know, they're under the radar. They they walk around with a chip on their shoulder, and you know, Caleb's showing you right here. Man, he's solid. Two free throws. Beautiful stroke on both of them. 62-38. 7:40 left. Nice pass, Fisher. And there's Antwi with the dunk. Gets up and throws it down this time. But it's all Carr. Moving the ball, Johnson. That's the MVP, folks. That's the MVP. You're looking at him right there. No doubt about that. He is in his bag. And it's just, you love to see the stroke. So smooth, 
so confident, no hesitation. But what about the ball movement, the extra pass by Shirley to, in the corner? And they know to feed, feed the hot hand, right? Like, he's been the guy who's been high percentage for you. You, got, you can't skip it. You can't look away from him. you got to feed him. And Morgan doing his thing. Look at the Hezzy. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's a beautiful play. That's going to be on all the highlight reels. What a shout out, Six Mix Project in the building. Overtime in the building. Unreal right now. <laughs> what a layup, man. Your face says it all. Man, that was a super tough finish. Not sure how he even got it off, but he just hung in midair. There's Antwi. Pull up no good. Shirley tries to save it, but he can't. All right, Johnson looks like he's cramping up a bit. Caleb Johnson is going to sub out of the game. Cramping up. Inbounds, Crestwood. They need this. No good. Back to Carr. 67 42. 608 left. Gamba. Gamba, solid play. What a pickup for them this year. The physical strength, man, it's just, it sets him apart for the 2022 class. As he continues to gain skill, he's gonna be climbing up the rankings, no doubt. Nice spin, Fisher, left hand, and one for Elijah Fisher. That's a beautiful play. That follows on Gamba, number 12. That's his fifth foul for Gamba, and he will have to sub out of the game. Great game for the physical specimen Gamba. 69-44, Fisher at the line. Fisher at the line. Short on that one, really short. Carr with the three quarter court token press, but they back off into regular coverage. Oh, nice play right there. Fisher avoids the foul, taking it away from number two, Jeffers. They get a timeout on the floor. Call by Father Henry Carr. Fourth quarter action. Stay tuned. This is the 17th annual Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Welcome back to the action. It's all Henry Carr at the moment. Oh, Morgan misses the layup. 
They get it back. Carr with a floater, no good. Another rebound. Inside, down low, gets it to go. This time it's Howard, 6'5", Ford, 2021 player. 5.07 left, it's 71-44. All Henry Carr, stolen away from Fisher. Here's Morgan, with the dunk. Morgan gets it to go. Big steal right there. Here's Fisher. Foul on the play. Who is it on? Let's take a look. Fouls on number 20. Raheem Wilson, his fourth. Fisher to the line, shooting two. I think that play looked a little bit worse than it was. Um, you know, the way Elijah came down kind of horizontally. Good play right there. Good basketball. Play. Oh, it was a good defensive play. I thought he got, you know, the defender got the ball. He just physically a lot stronger and was able to, you know, whip it his way. 73-45, 4.46 left, fourth quarter. Stolen away. Here comes Antwi, left hand, finishes good. Foul looks like it's on Shirley, number 15. Foul's on Shirley, number 15, yes. That's his first foul. Team's third, Antwi to the line, shooting one free throw. Free throw's good. Full court press now by Crestwood. Ocampo blocked, kept in bounds by Fisher. Almost stolen by Morgan, throws it up, gets it back. Oh! Antwi now throwing down in a crowd. He can do that. Love it when he comes in with that type of aggression, man. I would love for him to just stay that aggressive anytime he attacks the basket. We already know what he can do from the perimeter. We got a jump ball on the play. Crestwood prep basketball on the exchange. 73-50 is your score. All Henry Carr today in front of their home crowd. It will take a miracle for Crestwood to come back at this point. Carr just has played incredible basketball. Mingo. Oh, what a play. Double pump. Can't get it to finish. Oladele on the floor. To Fisher. Left hand. Fisher's good. 73-52. 3.42 left. Fourth quarter. Henry Carr in control. Kickball, still car basketball. So look at him, big time cramp and he's coming back in the game. That's a lot of courage. He's hydrated, he says he's ready to go. Coaches trust him. Physiotherapist on staff, Anna Vera took care of him. He's back in the action. The heart of a champion right there. Nice movement, Ocampo, what a dish and score. Another bucket, 75-52. The crowd is into it, the energy is live. Latte, nice cut, Antwi almost bobbled it, but he got it, 75-54, 3.06 left. Look at Johnson. Floater, no good. There's a Campo inside, block. Can't save it. What a catch, a Campo. Catches the rock, too. <laughs> Everything going their way right now. And this has been, there's been a huge disparity in score for, for quite some time. The closest that it got was nine points. And then FHC blew it back up. You can't get off to a slow start against a team like Father Henry Carr. Not the way they play defense. They apply way too much pressure, man. And you know what's crazy? They're only now starting to get into that groove. You know, by mid-season, it's going to be deadly. Another bucket there. 77-54. 2.38 left. Carr still pressuring. Looked like a walk, but he got away with it. Stolen away. Nice play, Shirley. Here's Morgan. Johnson behind the back, 
Fisher with the steal. Laddie going for the loop. No good. Foul on the play. Nice sportsmanship there by Antwi. Character dude, man. That's just a character dude. There's no other way to put it. He's, um, I mean, he's one way on the court. He's very composed and, and straight to the punch. And then away from the court, elite level student, uh, great brother, you know, great son to his family. And just everybody loves him. Pull up, Jay. No good. There's Latte. Keyshawn Laddie with it. Right to the hole. Nice finger roll. That's George Gervin S with the finger roll. 202 left. It's a 21 point lead for Father Henry Carr. What a game for them. Surely no good. And a foul on the play. Jeffers, number two, with the foul. That's his second foul. Teams, actually, teams fourth, or are they in bonus right now? That's four fouls, so the next one will be bonus. He pulled the chair out. I don't know if he did it on purpose. Traveling there. What a play right there. Got lucky. It wasn't on purpose, but hey, it worked. <laughs> oh, man. Everything going for Henry Carr today. They deserve it. They've come out and, you know, as you said, the first punch, they threw it. And when you do that, a lot of times you win the game. Uncle Mo, momentum, fully in their favor all game long. It's a 21-point game. Look at Ocampo. Oh, my. Morgan right to the hole and foul. That move was crazy. The crowd loved it. <laughs> Josh Morgan, what a player. Almost had the defender doing the splits on that one. I got to see the replay there. Morgan at the line shooting two. Yeah, Caleb, you take some rest, my man. You got a long season. I wouldn't have put him back in, but he wanted to get back on the court. Morgan at the line. Morgan makes it. 79-56, 107 left. Stolen away, Jeffers, foul on the play. That was on, on Caleb Arthur, number four. His first foul at the line will be Jemiah Brown Jeffers. Subs coming in, Morgan getting a well-deserved sub out. What a game for him. One of the stars of this Father Henry Carr team. What a game for them. Free throw's good. What are your thoughts, man? What do you think? And they're calling for him. Ezekiel Mullings, we want Zeke. We want Zeke. And the crowd gets what they want. Six foot eight, 2021 player. Ezekiel Mullings, number 33, in the game for Carr. The crowd wanted to see it, and they got it. Nice pass, Lazar. Big man's got to make that. Missed that layup, point blank. Shots up, no good. That was Caden Oshinowo. 
for Crestwood. No good. It's going to go to Father Henry Carr. The goodbye song, here it is. Stolen, Lazar. Foul called on the play. Foul's on number 25. Malik Kador, that's his first. Lazar at the line. The fans here are synonymous. They're famous fans here in Father Henry Carr. Even for a regular season during the week, regular game, they're like this. I love it, man. You feed off of that as a player and as a coach. More so as a player, definitely, man. It's your peers. It's the people you're in class with all day. And, you know, they gave it to them. They brought the energy. Well, they showed they deserve to be here. Father Henry Carr, champions in their own tournament. 81-57. They take it over Crestwood Prep. What a performance by... The Father Henry Carr Crusaders, they took it to Crestwood Prep all game long. And they take the championship 81-57. Henry Carr does it in front of their home fans. Stick around for the MVP and All-Star selections. And we'll try to interview a player or two from the winning squad, the Father Henry Carr Crusaders. Congratulations on their big win.
depth and the pace at which they play. Not to hurt brothers who have played at that pace. Instead, they play at slow pace. The brothers, they came out and they didn't play. Did they have a bunch of players? No. They drew. They drew. They played like it was a run. You coming in or are you good? Yeah. Welcome back to the action. The Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. The champions right from the get go. Father Henry Carr, FHC, gets it done. My man, you did well today. Caleb Johnson, we got co MVPs, Josh Morgan. Congratulations. We'll get to you in a second. Josh, talk about this man right here. Not only in the championship, but also in the semifinals. He just balled out. Uh, ever, ever since I met Caleb, bucket getter. Every day in the gym working on his handle, bucket getter. He's a bucket getter, he says you are. You're not a man of many words, but man, how does it feel, the performance you put on, coming back even after a cramp as well? Feels great. I helped my team get the W. And yeah. <laughs> it's as simple as that, huh? Talk about what you guys did, though. Right from the get-go, you guys took it to Crestwood Prep. Was that on the game plan for you? We just came out aggressive again and again and again and again. So and just kept following Just kept up. playing. <laughs> just kept playing as hard like we were down. We kept playing like we were down losing. So. He makes a great point. He says, we played like we were down. You've been in these big games before. What did it mean for you guys to get a start, a quick start against Crestwood and take them out of what they wanted to do? Um, like the past two games uh, on Thursday, we started slow. So like we just wanted to pick it up. And I knew that like if we play at that pace, the whole game were unstoppable. Yourself, obviously, talk about him and what he did and, uh, and the team. And Coach Melnick did a fantastic job of playing to you guys' strengths. And I see that defensive, uh, you know, mentality that the, Crest, that the, sorry, the Father Henry Carr teams have had in the past is coming back. Oh, uh, yeah. Melnick, every day in practice, he drills it into our head that we got to play hard, full court. And that's what we did today. You're repping for the east side of Canada, the Scotia side. I heard big bros in the building as well. Chris, good to see the family supporting. What does it mean for you to set an example for those players in the East Coast and showing what they could do in the big stage right here in the GTA? It means a lot. I want to show the young kids in Nova Scotia that they can do anything and everything, anything is possible. That's incredible right here. Nova Scotia in the building, the GTA Toronto in the building, the co-MVPs, Caleb Johnson, Josh Morgan. We want to thank you guys. There's your fans right there. FHC Prep takes the 2019 Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Signing off for Ill Minds Media, Elias Spiet. 
as well from North Pole Hoops. My name is Drew Banks. Make sure you tune in next year. We'll be right here for the 11th version of the FHC Father Henry, Bar Henry Carr Early Bird Classic. See you then. Have a great evening. Thank you.